How to use your draft worksheet. Your draft worksheet is a planning tool that allows you to plan your timetable ahead of registration. Completing your draft worksheet does not mean that you are registered. Your draft worksheet can be found on Carleton Central under the registration heading by clicking the link Build Your Timetable slash Registration. Once you have finished your class search, your chosen courses will be added to the My Course worksheet. Click View Worksheet. The worksheet table will display all of the information about your courses and whether or not you have any warnings that may affect your registration. The status column will let you know if you are registered in a course or if it has only been added to your worksheet so far. The remove column will allow you to remove courses on your worksheet by ticking the box next to the course you want to remove and clicking remove courses. The CRN column displays all of the course reference numbers for the courses on your worksheet. You can add courses directly by inputting CRNs in the field below the worksheet and then clicking Add Courses. You can also use Course Subject, Number, and Section instead. You can learn more about your courses by clicking the title or the CRN of the course. The Credit column will let you know how many credits each course is worth. If you exceed the number of credits you are allowed to take in a given term, you will receive a warning message at the bottom of your worksheet. You can still add more courses to your draft worksheet, but you will only be able to register for the number of courses indicated on your warning message. If you have a warning, the blue link prompting you to check your registration warning will appear in the row of the course you are being warned for. Click the link to view the warning. Please note that if you are registering for a full year course, you will receive a warning that you can safely ignore. Otherwise, any warning on your worksheet may not allow registration. If a course section is full, you may or may not be able to join a waitlist. If you are given the option to join a waitlist, please view our how-to videos on waitlisting. At any time, you can return to the search page, change the term you are registering for, or manage unavailable times by clicking the buttons below your worksheet. You should save worksheets ahead of your time ticket to make registration quicker and easier for you. Type a name in the Save As field and click Save As to save a new worksheet. You cannot have spaces or special characters in your worksheet name, only alphanumeric characters and underscores. We highly recommend that you save multiple worksheets with different course and section selections. This will help you if you find a course or section is full when you go to register. Always make sure to keep an eye on your warnings column leading up to your time ticket opening. You can also select your current worksheet and click Save Worksheet to save your current worksheet or Delete Worksheet if you want to delete it. Selecting New Worksheet will allow you to create new worksheets. Scroll down to view your draft timetable. By default, you will probably be viewing the first week of classes, so you may not see your courses for the first couple days of the week. Choose a week in the future to see your whole schedule. Some tutorials may also take place every other week, and in that case, you may want to increase the number of weeks that you are viewing instead. Be sure that your schedule is conflict-free. Course conflicts will appear in red and must be fixed. Dates in this video may not reflect dates and deadlines in your current term. Please see the Dates and Deadlines page on the registration website for details. Keep in mind that this is a working document and you are not yet registered. Once your time ticket has opened, you can proceed to registration. Check out the Step 2 Build Your Timetable slash Registration page and video on the registration website to learn how to register for courses.